Man, another Jack Daniels special release. I, I feel like they come out like every month. I know that's not the case, but it, uh, it kind of feels that way sometimes. This is the Jack Daniels Twice Barrel Special Release Heritage Barrel Rye. Now, if you go back to the first limited edition special release, it was their Tennessee Whiskey finished in their Heritage Barrels, and I remember being a big fan of that one. Let's find out some more info on this. We'll review it, we'll taste it. We'll also compare it to the Barrel Proof Rye Special Release. It's the Mash and Drum. What is up folks? I am Jason C from The Mass and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023. Thank you so much, Whiskey Tube family. So, the 2023 limited edition special release features Jack Daniels Tennessee Rye Whiskey, aged first in New American White Oak Barrels, and then it's finished in their High Toast Heritage Barrels. Now, Jack Daniels is owned by Brown Foreman, which has their own cooperage, and that allows them to craft signature barrels, experiment with different finishes, toast levels, all in-house, which I assume makes things pretty convenient. So speaking of making everything in-house, I have a special announcement and also a very special offer from the good folks and today's sponsor, it's Original Grain. Let's talk about Original Grain. They have been making watches from unique materials for almost a decade. They make watches, sunglasses, rings, and more inlaid with whiskey barrel wood that inspires connection, creates conversations, and can commemorate milestones. Today though, Tuesday, August 22nd, today's a special day for Original Grain. Why? Well, 10 years ago in 2013, co-founders Ryan and Andrew Beltran launched Original Grain on Kickstarter. 10 years later, over 500,000 watches have been sold, and in that time, there was no really easy way to make their watches only in America. Well, after three years of searching for the right partners, dozens of samples, trial and error, Original Grain is launching the American Heritage Series all built right here in the USA. The new American Heritage Series will feature partnerships across six different states with concepts starting in Oregon in their home base, designing starting in California, sourcing bourbon barrels in Kentucky that are plain cut and sanded in Minnesota. They're all held together with handcrafted leather from South Carolina, all being assembled together in Arizona. So with all those partnerships coming together, Original Grain is launching the first reclaimed whiskey barrel watch all made here in America. Five watches will be launched using two reclaimed materials and come in two sizes. Three watches are made from reclaimed bourbon barrels in brushed silver and matte black. Two watches are made from Prohibition era Rackhouse wood, one using copper and another one made of 100% real bronze. As you can see, each detail of the watch is carefully crafted. Something else really cool that Original Grain does is for every watch they sell, they plant a tree. The latest count, over half a million trees have been planted. They are a veteran and family owned company started by two brothers in the Pacific Northwest. They offer free shipping, a great warranty, and amazing customer service. Plus, they also dedicate themselves to helping many veteran organizations. Okay, so here is how you get your American Heritage watches. Today, Original Grain is launching all five watches where it all began, on Kickstarter. So click the link below in the description, head to Kickstarter, and be part of the launch 10 years in the making. You can get $250 off with early bird pricing, so click the link below in the description and grab one of these exclusive watches today, all made in the USA. Thanks to Original Grain for sponsoring the video, and cheers to you for making it happen. All right, so I'm gonna give this a pour now. This is a this is a really dark rye whiskey, as you can see the color here. All right, so here are the details. You can check out the close-ups of the bottle. The Jack Daniels Twice Barrel Special Release Heritage Rye has a mash bill of 70% rye, 18% corn, and 12% malted barley. It's charcoal mellowed before aging in new American white oak barrels for at least five years. It is then aged for over two years in those heavy toast heritage barrels. It's bottled at 100 proof and available nationwide in limited quantities for 75 bucks per 700 milliliter bottle. So one thing I really appreciate about this bottle and the transparency of it, everybody, you know, whiskey lovers love transparency. And I do love the fact that they give you dates uh, for the first barrel entry. So that first, uh, you know, five years of maturation. Then the second barrel entry where they entered it into those uh, those toasted heritage barrels. Then finally, when it was actually bottled. So if you kind of do the math, this could be an eight-year-old rye whiskey, which would be kind of nice, but I don't know. You never know when distillers decide to dump their whiskey, maybe leave them in the tank for a little while before they're bottled. So that, that could vary, but you know you're at least getting something 
around seven years old-ish. Let's get to the nose here. The first thing that hits you about this is how rich it is on the nose. You just, this just screams like deep, dark, intense type flavors. So this is about my third pour of this. I cracked it open on my live stream last week. And it has definitely changed up a little bit, which is always why I like to open up bottles before I do reviews. Because what I'm getting now is slightly different than when I cracked it open. When I first cracked it open, it was heavy, heavy, intense, like molasses, brown sugar, and almost like a maple syrup type vibe I was getting. I still think I am getting that, but there's also like this little level of, uh, of smoke that I'm getting, probably from that, uh, that toasted barrel. Yeah, it's like rye bread dipped in molasses. It's crazy. I've already been getting questions, you know, do, do you pick up any of the, that, you know, signature Jack Daniels banana note in here? I'm not really getting that at all. This is all just dark and sweet. I mean, you could smell some of the rye in here as well. Again, that little bit of a rye bread note, but I feel like you get a little rye spice as well, but it's very much combined with those deep, rich molasses notes. So let's give it a try. Here we go. Man, the palette is more of the same. This is... Man, this goes straight to like that molasses, deep brown sugar, almost like a burnt brown sugar a little bit too. It is very, very rich. However, remember it's only 100 proof. So if you're expecting like, uh, like a Koi Hill experience, that is not this at all. It's actually kind of nice being able to kind of just sip this a little bit and, and, and experience it. Koi Hill, as much as I love Koi Hill, man, that thing is a little fireball. Man, you get the, the toasted barrel char notes. Again, that little hint of smoke that's on the back end of this that also balances out that sweet molasses flavor up front. It's really nice. The, the little bit of rye spice is right in between. You get a nice little spice there. The finish on this is not as long as I would say, you know, from the, uh, what we will compare here shortly to the Jack Daniel special release. It's you know, being 100 proof, I, th I feel like it's a little softer. It's a little bit more sweet than spice, I think. There's actually a slight, slight dark fruit note starting to emerge a little bit. Almost like a smoked black cherry type thing kind of happening in between. It's really, really, it's, it just kind of peeks out a little bit. But like I said, guys, this isn't, this is not a whiskey that's gonna take you in all these different paths. It, it's not the most complex whiskey you're gonna try, but how, but the flavors that it has, I think a lot of people will love just being so sweet and dense and rich. Um, the finish lacks a little bit for me, but let's uh, compare it to the special release Barrel Proof Rye Whiskey that launched a couple of years ago that everybody just went nuts for. So here's my 2020 Barrel Proof Rye. This came in, this clocked in at 129.4 proof. So, you know, pretty much about 30 proof points higher than the uh, Heritage Toasted Rye. Do a quick compare to really see those differences. Man, when you compare the two, the, the smoke, that barrel char note that's in this really comes out, but there's also way more, again, more of that just dark molasses, like chocolatey type of note that comes through on the Jack Daniels on the uh, the Heritage Rye. Now the Barrel Proof Rye, it's a different sweetness than I'm getting in the Heritage uh, the Heritage Rye. The the Barrel Proof Rye, I feel like you get more of that that mintiness that you get from a rye. However, it is just wrapped up in like these really dense, rich like caramels, creme brulee. When we, I mean, you do these head to head, you can really smell the barrel char and the toast in the uh, the Heritage one. So let's take a sip of the Barrel Proof Rye. Man, the barrel proof rye just comes off. I mean, I get toffee. I get uh, also something very sweet, like almost like a Skittles candy. <laughs> like, it's just so sweet. It's like candy coated. Uh, but it's also got that deep, rich finish because, you know, it's about 130 proof. Man, I forgot how good that is. This thing just got sweeter and sweeter as it opened up. Um, I'm wondering what's going to happen to the Heritage one, but when you compare... While wow, coming off of the barrel proof, the Heritage Rye, it is hands down darker. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's sweeter. I think it's just a different type of sweet. I'm curious though, being only 100 proof, if P 
people will be quick to judge it against the barrel proof fry and maybe be disappointed in the finish a little bit. Overall, I think this is gonna be a huge crowd pleaser, so let's uh, final break down this thing. All right, so final breakdown on the Jack Daniels Twice Barrel Special Release Heritage Barrel Rye, 75 bucks for a 700 milliliter bottle. That is, that's retail. Uh, secondary market value, ever since that Barrel Proof Rye came out, the valuations on these special releases from Jack Daniels have skyrocketed. People are already pricing this at $300, $400. So if you're in a state that doesn't have controlled pricing, then you could probably see these pretty high up. Uh, availability, let's all say it together, it's going to be limited. Uh, value for this one. Value for this one at 75. So 75 bucks, I think is even. $75 value for a toasted rye from Jack Daniels that's probably around seven to eight years old. I, I love the price of it. It's actually a, a good value, not just an even value. I'm only saying it's even because it is a limited edition. It'll be a little bit harder to get. But if you find it at 75, I think the value is even. So what's the most I pay for this one? Luckily I got this for retail and I'm glad I got it for retail. So I probably stick with that. I know some people will overpay for this one because they wanna you know, get their hands on the next big rye from Jack Daniels. Uh, but when you taste it, not being the most complex rye that I've had this year, I think 75, maybe 100 is where it would be my, would be my top ceiling for this. So alternatives, I mean, talking about double barreled rye whiskeys, the first one that comes to mind is Sagamore Spirit Double Oaked, which I think is a fantastic release. Uh, I think the proof is a little bit lower than this one, but it could probably hang right there with this. But I still think that this is darker and even a little sweeter than the Sagamore is. I mean, you have the famous Michter's Toasted Rye, but that is pretty hard to get. And then the one bottle that I was thinking of that I've tried that is kind of close to this is actually the Fourgate Toasted Rye Whiskies. So Fourgate released a few um, toasted ryes. It was seven to eight year, I think actually nine year MGP rye that was in a toasted barrel that got flavors near to this. But those bottles were about 200 to 225 bucks. So uh, Sagamore Spirit Double Oaked might be the best, most findable alternative to this one. And lastly, recommendation, is it a skip? Is it a try before you buy? Is it a buy? Is it a buy and back it up? For me, this is a buy. Even though I'm saying buy, I'm still gonna say not to overpay for it. Like I said, 100 bucks might be my ceiling for this. I have had better rise in this this year. This is a really, really delicious rye. I think it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be a crowd pleaser. People are gonna probably line up to try to get this one because it is so dense and dark and molassesy sweet. However, out of all the rise I had this year, this probably isn't the best one, but it's damn delicious. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review for the new Jack Daniels Twice Barrel Special Release Heritage Barrel Rye. Man, it's a mouthful. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Love hearing from you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you're thinking about this one, if you're going to go buy it no matter what, or if you're going to maybe try it before you buy it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Master and Drum. Take care, guys.